Hi, we are trying to discuss here an IEEE paper of August 2007 for high voltage generation and that is using repetitive and high voltage mark generator but using solid state devices. Uh, the conventional mark generator is this that we all know and we have some spark gap arrangement registers and then the supply DC uh, whereas the uh, author has published uh, a switch from the AC supply where uh, there has been some solid state switches used and some capacitors used and uh, as it mentions that during the charge mode in the charge mode uh, the IGBTs or that the switches are in off state and uh, so the capacitor charges and in the discharge state all the capacitors are made in series all the capacitors are made in series by this process this uh, this way it goes through this switch this switch and this switch and in this process all the capacitors get uh, series connected so you get a negative voltage which is a sum of all these voltages 1 2 3 4 the four stages which have been shown here but the supply has been given from an AC supply of course okay with the pulsating DC and a uh, diode which is also solving the purpose of some discharge as per the explanation given uh, in our circuit what we have tried to achieve is uh, by using um, solid state devices not IGBTs but we have used the MOSFETs but IGBTs can also be used where we have in the input certain uh, uh, DC volt, uh, DC uh, with a duty cycle of 50% on and off and uh, the output we will see how we get the output now if we uh, try to simulate this we will find that uh, this is my input this is my input at this point and while I give this kind of input if you look at the uh, scale of the CRO they are all in 5 volt and the time period is 2 millisecond 2 millisecond from one division so total is about uh, 10 milliseconds and uh, the total from on and off is 20 milliseconds so this is 50 hertz and so what we do is uh, a on time duty cycle of 50 percent is given here by appropriate circuit where we have the input of this so when this point goes high that means on time is high the d10 it charges the c1 via d10 and d5 and then ultimately through d6 d7 d8 and to the negative to the uh, uh, negative point and uh, similarly this capacitor charges through d1 d11 c2 and this process and then d2 d12 this d7 this way like that it all the capacitors in the positive half cycle in the positive uh, uh, on time of this get charged that time we keep the switch off all these switches q1 q2 q3 q4 are kept off by an arrangement where we use some opto isolator arrangement we have used some opto isolators here and this kind of arrangement makes the switch at the time of high this point the gate point of the uh, MOSFET is driven to the source so the this is in off situation when this is in off situation the capacitor charging takes place perfectly and during the off time period of the input what we have is uh, we switch on all the switches in the process what happens now this capacitor if this is negative positive is the side it goes switches on so this now this positive is gets connected to this negative and then positive this positive gets connected to this negative and in the process all the capacitors from here the forms a path like this it forms a path like this and in the process what we find that all the switches all the capacitors are kept in series and we find the voltage in the process increases and we'll see uh, that in uh, the uh, the uh, the voltmeter we can have that uh, in then the uh, voltmeter also what we can see is okay so we, we have paused it and let's see uh, what is the voltage that we get
Yeah. Uh, what we have seen is the in the CRO we have uh, uh, an input of uh, it's in the all the scales are five volt. The input is five ply plus two. So I get some twelve volt input, and uh, in the process what we find here, and if we see the um, the capacitor voltage which is uh, negative or positive but with the negative this is the negative voltage and because this is the uh, zero line you can see this is the zero line the zero line so this is the negative voltage this is the negative voltage and negative voltage scale is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and little more that means uh, it's about uh, 9 into uh, sorry uh, uh, it's about 45 or 50 volts that is what we get here about 46 volts uh, so this is what how the uh, voltage is increased and uh, the opto isolators uh, form the drive part this is the capacitor which is uh, not f having any function uh, as far as the addition of the uh, capacitor voltages are concerned uh, but this is deliberately put here to provide the uh, drive voltage as re required in the off uh, time period of the input cycle. So let's uh, see this how it happens in the off time period. This capacitor which was charged before in the on time period now it provides the drive for this so this switch is on. Similarly this similarly for this and similarly for this though this capacitor is used only for the purpose of providing the drive voltage whereas these four capacitors c1 c2 c4 and uh, c6 are used for the purpose of voltage addition so this is the arrangement that we have made and how we get the uh, input voltage like this has been achieved by a simple uh, duty cycle on off duty cycle arrangement uh, derived from any kind of oscillator circuit thank you